Hello and welcome to In Conversation with Gorillas. My name is Mr. Jam and this is presented by Telecom Electronic Beats. Now we are here at the YouTube space in London with 2D and Murdoch. 2D, Murdoch, thank you for hey, joining me. Hi, hi. How are you doing? You all right? How are you doing, Mr. Yeah, Jam. cool. Good to see yeah. you. Shut up, 2D. What? Well, listen, guys, please, no fighting. Sorry. No, Sorry. I didn't know. No. It's, no he gets, he gets excited. It's like Tourette's. He gets like a Tourette's when he does interviews. I can understand that. I, yeah. I, I get similar when I'm asking questions, which is why I've got them in front of me here. Oh, I've got a load way. of questions to get through and not that much time. So let's start. All right. Let's start with this. Now, yeah. Did you ever think that you would end up here? Wow. What, in the studio? Yeah. Um, what, well, we only found out about it today, so... Okay. He's the problem. I'm not the problem. You're, uh, you're the problem, oh, aren't no, you? No, you answer the man's question. I mean, what? is this where you expected to end up when you first started this years ago? Well, it's very... De you can't really say, you know, but it's, 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 you know, it's been an incredible journey, mm. you know, and, you know, these people are, have been in my... Well, in my wake for so many years, they <laughs> seem to have them as permanent companions and producing such, well, beautiful music. Um, well, yeah, well, we know. didn't really have a choice at first. I mean, I was kidnapped by uh, Murdoch, mm. so... No, that's um, strong. Well, that's it was strong, actually. You were quite Adopt strong. Adopted or kidnapped? No. Um, no, I, you knob jockey. I think, le <laughs> right. I think legally the word is kidnapped, okay. but um, <laughs> Murdoch says adopted, but no. his uh, his version of adopted is no. definitely not safe Mr. for Mi children. Mi Mr. Excuse, yes, excuse Murdoch, me. Yes, Mr. Jan. Yes, sir. My colleague here has been sort of, you know, exaggerating the whole thing. He begged me, he begged me to take him on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a charity thing, really. Well, however it started, over in his car. it's okay. working, okay. and it has worked the, for a number of years. The man's trying to ask us questions. I am, sorry. I've got questions to get through so oh. little time. Yeah, I'm oh. sorry, we, 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 oh. we, we do get side, side tracks. I understand, yes. that's okay, my job. My job is to try and lead us through this. So oh. Yeah, you're doing, doing well. re you're doing brilliantly, Thank actually. You. He's, he's, doing, he's doing, doing really well. Great. I think he's going really well, don't you? No, I think... Let me ask my next question, fellas. Come on, calm down, calm down. Sorry, sorry. Because people want to hear about the music and it's been seven years since your last album yes, yes. What, oh. what have you been up to since that time oh well i'll just t tell him to yeah you okay happened. well 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 mr jam you see what happened um i was actually i don't i got a little bit of trouble over a breach of contract thing i was hanging out on plastic beat and, and the, the, the record company they they, they banged me up mm. I, I they banged me up i i i did nine moon in 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 the secure, heavy high security jail underneath Abbey Road Studios. Mm. No, it was it was hell. You know, it was absolute hell. Mind you, I got to know a few interesting people in there. Okay. And the best bit of advice I got there, Mr. Jam, you you do well. You do well to take this on board. Okay, I'm listening. I'm you listening. Do well to take this. When you get put down, um, always what I was told was get your nut down and do your bird. Yeah. Yeah, get your nut down, do your bird. It means put you know. down in prison, not yeah. in a not in a veterinary way. No, I, I get that to be. That's that's, fine. that's yeah, very true. I no, speak so Murdoch. That, I fine. hope you don't get put down. Oh no, I hope, I'm not suggesting you, you would. <laughs> um, uh, but if you ever do, just remember that, you know. Yes. Yeah. Oh, twit. Oh, cheer. So anyway, look, uh, what happened? You, you guys got back into the studio. How did it feel getting back into the studio again? It must have been weird. Well, um, I'd say it was emotional. Yeah. For them. Okay. Yeah, it was quite emotional for us. Well, just to be in my presence. Again, fear was one of the biggest emotions, and um, yeah, frustration. Uh, fear, yeah, fear is something that you um, generally feel emasculation. Around. Another one. Say yep. that word again. Emasculation. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Weird, weird <laughs> conditions to make a great album, but the album is great. We went everywhere. Thank you. We went everywhere to make it, though. Okay. Mr. Jam, didn't we? Yeah. We go to all, a lot all of over the place. About? Well, the only place we didn't actually go. Tutti. Is it Tooting? Tooting, yeah, we didn't go there. Tooting in Tooting. South London. Oh, yeah, and we didn't go to Spalding in Lincolnshire. Okay, no, we didn't go but there we either. did go to Old Chi. Went to Old Chi and, uh, For home, and, and uh, New set. Amsterdam, which is called New York now. Yeah. yeah. And where else did we go? We went to. We, went to, we spent a lot of time in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn. Yeah, we yeah. like it. New York there. City, a good place to record. Home of. Yeah, great. Uh, great place Nelson. to record. Uh, 
I mean, uh, Paris, Paris. You, you yeah, also you not, not only did you do a lot of travelling, but you've also got some amazing guests on the album. Oh, oh yeah, let I, me we, we've, tell got, you. we've got <laughs> such good people on our album. We're we're so yes. lucky, man. How did you go about rounding them all up? Was it all? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> well, you better ask you better ask Murdoch about that because because a lot of them again were taken against well. their will. <laughs> No, they weren't. I mean, there uh, were blow darts involved and things. <laughs> Tranquilizer yeah. guns. Yeah, I mean, they do work though. They don't were they? queuing up. They were queuing up. To be on it, let's be honest. You know, there's yeah. Who wouldn't be? They were throwing up uh, as well. Not, and some of them were throwing. Some up. of them were throwing up. Yeah, in yeah. the studio twice. Well, but we had. Uh, oh, tell them about some of the interesting people we got on the album. Oh, oh, Grace Jones is on the album. Grace. Yeah, oh, let me tell you. In. She oh, came mate. to see us. Mate. Oh, mate. Yeah. Grace <laughs> Jones. Oh, she's a lovely lady. Kindred we, spirits, you must be. You, you and Grace Jones, Murdoch. Well, I'll tell you what happened. We, we, after, after we'd done our studio sessions, um, she, we had a little chat about, about love, mm. you see. Not, not me and her. I'm okay. not talking about that. OK. No, <laughs> I'm not talking about that. <laughs> what Are you trying to she... say that Grace Jones l loves you? Well, I think she had a little... Uh, well... There was a twinkle in her eye, okay. you know, when she looked at me. I think it was. I a think she, I think he, uh, her eyes that? were actually crossed. <laughs> I think she was because you were going on about. I don't, anyway, don't worry. Sorry. Oh, that, well, no, no, uh, yeah, no. we got loads of good people in yes. the album. Anyway, yeah. And then, no, she was talking to me about if I want to find love, I've got to put my 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 hook in deep into the ocean and pull out a big fish. And she said, if she was in the ocean, uh, uh, I tried to pull her out, she'd drag me in. Oh. And I laughed. I thought that was very funny. That's but, that's uh, quite heavy flirting. Well, by Grace Jones standards. Do you think it was? She's, I thought it she's was. a very she's a very flirtatious woman, but I mean I that in like a really good way. Yeah. I thought yeah. She she's she very, came very... she came up to me and she's I, I thought she was gonna say something quite sort of scary, but she said, Can you can you hold my coat for me? <laughs> and I, I had two cups of orange juice in my hand and I said, I can't because I I've got I got look, I've got two two cups of yeah. orange juice she, in my hand. Yeah. And then she just uh, started hitting me with her handbag. You, yeah. you must have deserved it, 2D. Yeah. Grace Jones does not dish that kind of stuff out unless you deserve it. It's, it's my own fault. I should have known in my mind. Should have I, should have, I, should have, I should have had. I should have put the orange juice down yeah. and just took her coat for her. That was really, yeah. really sort of short-sighted of me, really. Who else have you yeah. got on the album? Any stories from from recording? Wow. You want to share? Oh, oh well, oh, we're, oh. we've got we've got a brilliant actor called Ben Mendelssohn. He narrates the whole album yes. for us. Jesus. How did that and, come um, about? Oh, uh, well, actually, I think Murdoch went and found him on, on the set of um, Bloodline, and, um, which was a really good series. Oh, that yeah, yeah doing. that's right, yeah. And, uh, I made him come into the fray, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, uh, I wonder where that was going then. Yeah, so yeah. Like, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and, and he, yeah, he, pulled him off, he pulled him off his Winnebago. Mm. He pulled him off his uh, Winnebago and then, and then what? put him into the uh, taxi with us, and then we brought him to the studio. <laughs> And is Did there you, kind I of a celestial theme to the whole thing? Because you've got, you know, we've got uh, Andromeda, you've got Saturn's well, bars, you've yes. got Ben doing all the narration. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. There is a little yes, bit. There is a little that. bit. There is, but it's not all about that, you know. It's multifarious. Okay. In so many ways, I'm, I'm going to go away and look that up later. I just <laughs> it's, thought it would be enough. It's a were good you, word. Were, well, you were quite impressed, weren't you? I was very. You were. I don't know what it means, well, but Mr. it sounded Jam, good. You were what, what, <laughs> what, what's, can I ask you what song you liked on the album? Which song Mr. that I Jam? liked, personally? Oh, yeah, good question. Yeah. I really, really like Saturn's Bars. Yeah, we like that. The Irish one. N no, 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 no. The, the one with Popcorn. Yeah, but... It's well, no, a bit Irish, though, isn't it? We're, we're... No, it's kind of a little bit more reggae vibes, hip hop. Oh, kind of. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a lot of reggae in it, but I think Murdoch, he spent some time in court. Cool. He spent some Who time me? in court. I, cool. I, I resemble that <laughs> statement. <laughs> I. I did you hear <laughs> I'm that? joking. Did I'm joking. It? Actually, no, I don't. But they just put it together. <laughs> no, that Irish one, the satin bars. We call tell, it, tell them about it's that. Our, our nickname is we call it the Irish one because it goes, "Oh my life." Oh, like that. Yeah, yeah, that is see. Jamaican, not oh, Irish. All oh, right, but it's all good. It's fine. But it's all related as well. It is. Small it town in Jamaica called country, Cold Cannon. Guess, they, they say tree in both Jamaica and Ireland, so you know it works. Oh, good. right. Okay. I think it's all, we're all connected, you know, Mr. Jam, in the end, we ultimately. Throughout. But there's so many good tracks on there. I, you know, Big Ben, right? Big Ben. I can't oh, tell yeah, you like about it. Big Ben. Big Benjamin Clementine. Yes. Oh, yeah. On Hallelujah Money. 
Hallelujah money. Hallelujah. Lovely big fella. Yeah, he's yeah. He's a lovely big fella. No, he's, he's, nice, so, he's a nice guy. He's got the voice of a... I mean, his voice is just mm. all mellifluous. Yeah, Another mellifluous. Another really good word, Murdoch. You're coming out uh, on today. He, he, he's a, Oh, yeah, Benjamin Clementine's voice is really malicious, mellifluous. Mellifluous. Yeah, no, he's great. He's a lovely big fella. And, uh, but you, you put know, it out on the eve of, uh, of Donald Trump's inauguration. Were you trying to make a statement with that? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you've got to be careful when you say Donald Trump because he gets all panicky uh, when you say something uh, like that. Donald, what happened to Donald? Is he in? Is he in? No, he's not is coming. He in? He's not. Is You're he all in? right. You're all right. You're all right. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, you have to be careful when you oh, say things because he gets I mean, upset. Mr. Jam, really, we had no idea that was going to pan out the way it did, mm. but, you know, it did. So You have to be careful with Murdoch because uh, that's one of the things you have to use sounds to tranquilise him. You see, like, I, when he gets into this state, you can see he's very fidgety. You have to mm. just... I'm not too sure what it is that you're doing, 2D, but it seems to be working. <laughs> oh. So, you're listen. You're all right, Murdoch. What happened? You're all right. What happened? We, 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 you went we, in a little sleep there, mate. We you won't went mention the name again. It's fine. Oh. It's all good. He, he went into a little wing there. You're, you say a little kip, mate. You're all right. Come back now. You're all right. Dreamer. Look, listen to Mr. Jam. He's telling oh, you to ask questions Sorry. now. I went off there, Mr. Jam. Go, go on, Mr. Mr. Jam. That's all right. You kind of, you were panicked a little bit beforehand. I think I think it was one of my questions, so... Yeah, don't say it again. We don't want to go word. there again. Yeah. Didn't he? Yeah. Okay, so go on. What were you saying? Yes, mate. Oh, sorry. One mate. second, please. Yes. Let me just grab this. Hello. 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 Who this? It's Jam. Who this? It's Jam. You oh, rung us. Oh, Jam. Yeah. Who's this? It's, uh, it's Russ. It's Russ. It's Russell, yeah. Russell. Russ. Yeah, yeah, man. Right, Russ. Yeah, <laughs> Russell, how man. you doing, man? You good? I'm kind of tired. Okay. Yeah. Listen, I'm just here with uh, with 2D and Murdoch. We're talking about the album. They don't really seem to know that much about they the guests and the music. Two bone heads. What do you mean? <laughs> we know loads about the album. Mr. Jeff, we know He's more than here. here. We don't know anything about the album. I ain't over there. Please stop over fighting, here. guys. So, Russell, yeah. listen. I, I, I want to talk to you Russell, about you some of the guests. Russell? No, Russell. You just call me Russell. I called you Russell. Call it's my Nottingham Russell. accent. I'm sorry. Russell, leave him. <laughs> Russell, leave he's funny. Leave it. Talk to me about some of the yeah. guests that you've got on this album, Russell. Yeah, Danny Brown. Yeah. Well, I, I, I got to him through my spectral spectrum. My, 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 my sonic stargate. That's how I got hold of him. Okay. And, uh, you know, sometimes he go up, wide, sideways. And uh, when I press the button, they, I beam him down. Nice. You know? And then uh, we would do our thing, and I'll beat my back up. Actually, a couple of them were delivered by drone. Okay. Yeah, so I, uh, you know, I got a, I got a pickup drone. That new, that new guest artist delivery service that they've, uh, they're advertising. That's a, oh. that's a little sarcastic jam. I'm not, um, I'm not being sarcastic. sarcastic. Listen, no, 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 no sarcasm at all. He hasn't been sarcastic at all, mate. Don't. Aye, aye, He's aye, been aye. quite straight down aye, the line, aye. mate. Aye. It's all right, right? And Mr. James, all right? right. You can be, yeah, you can yeah, be yeah, cool yeah. with him. Yeah, look, look, I'm just a fan. I just want to try and find out a little bit more about right. the, the creative Shoot. process. Shoot. I mean, look, we've got Russell on the phone. We've yeah. got 2D. We've got Murdoch live with us. It's all good. Uh, you always seem to collaborate with amazing people on your projects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it not just enough to have you four amazing guys in the studio together? Why do you well, always choose collaborators? Because, you know, we're trying to bring in people that have affected the world recent to whenever we bring out the album, you dig? I dig that. So we're trying to make the shit contemporary. Me. He's got a point. You know, that's how we do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that does make yes. sense. That does yeah, make what, sense. What he said, what he said is what you had a problem. That. Russell, Russell, uh, you better tell him though about the problem we had with, with Remy, the producer. Right, yeah. Well, you know, we, we, we uh, uh, you know, you me, me, me and Jam get on, so, you know, a lot of people be influences on us, so we try to bring them into the circle and make the whole thing round, you know. Put the hole in the donut, as I say. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Music yeah, the hole in the donut. Hole in the donut. Yeah. Yeah. Was there an echo in there? Yeah. It... Say that again. Is there an echo over there? Because the, those two boneheads repeating what I say. Yeah, well, we're just agreeing <laughs> with you. It's hey, all Russell, right. Russell, man. you put the hole in the donut. Is man, that right? you left me in Brooklyn. I got. Hey, I got. I got twenty-two people. 22,000 people. Russell, you, you don't no, need no, the yeah, 22 you, people. Russ. It is all Russ. good. This he is he all he love. It's all positive. Sorry. Sorry, man. I just... You're tired, Russell. Yeah, you're tired. I, 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 you're I, I, tired. I, I, I've been wrestling with you the... You sound jet-lagged, Russ. I, I, go and chill, man. I'm good, man. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Get I, your I, nut down. Thank you. Thank you, you, thank you Russell. Thank you very much. Thanks. He's all right. All right, Russ. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be all right. Yeah. Oh, well.
Mm. Yeah, so... Have you, got that, have you got that four pence? Four? What? The... Oh, I get that. Uh, no. Is, is everything all right, guys? All good? No, it's all right. I lent no, him four pence six yeah. years ago and he still asks me for it. Yeah, it was ah. 12 years ago. 4p. Well, listen, very issue. soon we're going to be getting into uh, some fan questions because a lot of people have been getting in touch and sending in their Ooh. questions that it is that yeah, they yeah. want you to answer. Nice. I, I want to go back on the kind of the, the, the choice for where you chose to record. Does, does, does anywhere that you actually specifically went influence the sound of the album at all? Well, I think so. Yeah. Don't you really? I think they all do in their own way, don't uh, they? Unless they haven't got a roof, that affects the sound as well because yeah. <laughs> quite Quite literally, it's not ideal. Yeah. You know, when New York obviously has got you know all the hooters and everything, but we sort yeah. of, we rubbed we, we we got rid of them, didn't we? That's right. We got rid of them. And the Chicago, hooters, we, we had some good sounds in Chicago yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chicago's good and uh, good for I sounds. Mean, Paris. Listen, the, the thing about you guys that I've always loved, and and literally since day one, is the, the relationship between technology and gorillas. How has this changed over the years? Oh, it's changed in many ways. Right, to be, how, what do you think 2D to begin with, mate? Well, how has it changed? It's smartphones. We never had smartphones when we first started out, mm. and now we do. Uh, yes. Any other technology things Smart. that have happened? Crisps have changed slightly. <laughs> crisps are totally <laughs> different now, well, they are. how they were. Yeah. It's much they can more. Be fatter now, crisps. Fatter, fatter more selection. Something. I do love a crisp. I love a yeah. crisp as well. Do you like a sort of a crinkly one? I, I'm much more. He loves a crinkly one. one. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I prefer yeah. it smooth. Yeah. But I mean, talking about yeah. the tech Ooh. landscape, it must have changed dramatically since you guys first started. Oh, wow. You know, How have you taken advantage of it, you know, in, in, in 2017? Well, I mean. <laughs> well, how do you do that? You know? <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I think taking advantage of sounds is um, something that we, we've become quite good at mm. over the years. Yeah. And, you know, especially Murdoch where, you know, he manages to sort of sample all kinds of different sounds. And with our producers as well, they sample some good sounds and tweak it ever so slightly. And we've got a lot of electronica sounds on this album mm. as well, which we think sound pretty cool, actually. But not just, you know, the music, but also the kind of, you know, the world that you live in. At the moment, you're in our oh, world, but changed. the world that you live in. Yeah, Talk to me about this new Lens app, Murdoch. What's, what's this about? The new one? Lens app that got launched today. Oh, the new Lens app. Yeah, yeah Lens that's app. That's basically, we've tele got this Lens app with Telecom. And, yeah, telecom. and, and, and anything that's like magenta, you can, you can hold the app, the Gorilla's app, over the, the, um, the magenta, yeah, and you go. can go into our world, you know, yeah. and you can see in our world. Yeah. And um, it's, right. it's nicer yeah. than Murdoch's world. It's more like my world, which is a little bit more user-friendly, do you know what I mean? Perfect. Oh, God, that's a bit harsh. Yeah, it's a bit hard. Well, it's your Listen, world. Guys, loser friendly. go anywhere you loser Please stop Yours fighting. Loser we haven't friendly. got that much time Sorry. We haven't started yet. Yeah, okay. Well, we, we're going to move on to the fan questions. So many of you have been getting in touch. So many of you have literally been sending in your fan questions. Uh, we've got oh, a few nice. to go through. Uh, and I'm going to direct them directly, you know, at the, at the person that they're asking the questions to. Oh, go on. So Moira from Poland wants to know, Murdoch, who's your favourite writer and why? Easy. Bob Kerouac. Who's he? He's a distant relation of Jack. Okay. And he wrote a book called By the Side of the Road. Jack Kerouac wrote a wonderful book called On the Road, which is good. Yes. It's good. I'll it's give like... you that. It's good. But Bob Kerouac is better. Oh, let me tell you, Mr. Jam. His, his, his literature, it literally moves you when you read it mm. and also has lots of pictures. Which is always good. It always I helps. love pictures. Handy. He likes yeah, that. Yeah, he likes that. You're a very visual so, man. You're a very visual I man. I am very mostly visual. Yeah. Mostly visual. Absolutely. Me. 2D, Lucy from Croatia wants to know what a skill, what is a skill that you'd like to learn? Um, oh, well, that's a good question, actually. Thank you for that great question. Um, one of the skills I've always wanted to hone is that of thatching. Thatching. I've always wanted to do thatching like they do on old cottages because mm. it, um, it, they vary from county to county. You thatch, don't you, too, do you? Well, in particular, which one's your favourite? I like the West Sussex thatch. Yeah, see, see, because it it's different. Nice thatch. Shape, you know, shape's different. You're au okay with all that, aren't you, Mister Jack? I am indeed. I am indeed. I do love a little thatch. Do you like a Nottingham thatch? A Nottingham thatch. I think it's probably a little bit more like me, rough and ready. But I, I, I do really <laughs> like, you know, a bit I, I, of thatching. We've seen some very rough thatches in Not Nottingham, actually. Oh. We've seen some really all, 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 all over the place, all hanging out and yeah, all absolutely. sorts in Nottingham. The thatch. And the good thing is, 2D, is that you know you will then have a trade. So if this ever dries up, then you can go thatching. Exactly. Good uh, point. Or, or in between albums, I can just do a bit of, 
gentle, like... Gentle thatching. Thatching. Yeah, thatch, even there. Pull of, it's a very gentle thing to do, really. It's quite it's therapeutic, is. isn't it? Yeah, it's, 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 quite it's, not, it's not easy, yeah. So, Desiree from Canada wants to know, Murdoch, what was yeah. it like being in the bath? A lot of people oh. are asking and a lot of people talking about the bath. Um, oh. What are your thoughts on it becoming a meme? Oh, well, I always thought it would be a meme eventually. Mm. As, I was, as I was stepping into the bath, I thought, this is going to be a meme. <laughs> and I didn't care, I just carried on anyway, because it didn't put me off. The bath itself was very womb-like okay. uh, when I got in, like baths are. Mm. And, um, oh, I can't tell you, it transported me, literally. Um, well, just everywhere. It's, I, there isn't enough time for me to tell you where I went in that bath. So there you go. Well, either way, Th it's a very, very big story with the fans. They love the bath. Oh, they love it. I don't know, what is that about? Why did why they love the bath thing? Mm. Was it me? Getting my, my, my gear. Moving swiftly on. Um, oh, style sport. Corinne from Arizona uh, wants to know, and, and either of you can answer this, where's Cyborg Noodle? Any ideas on her location? I keep asking, where is it? Two she, she texted me the other day oh, yeah. and she said that she's in, in Lincolnshire. <laughs> she's, she's bought a new yeah. bike, so she's gone to Boston in Lincolnshire to try a new bike because it's very flat. That's a good idea. And she can get used to all the gears and stuff. So she, she's out, she's over that, there. That, so, excuse me. Oh, just having a little. Uh, a lot of a lot of very flat land in there. Oh, Lincolnshire. In Lincolnshire. It's the Fens, yeah. isn't it? It's the Fens, really. But, yeah, yeah, it's the Fens. Yeah. You meet some interesting people out there, so oh, I believe yeah. that's why she's gone. Very true. Actually, it's apparently. That's she'll, what 2D says. She'll be back. She'll be back. She'll soon. be back. She'll be back. When we do, yeah, when we do our live stuff, she's come back to, yeah, to jam with us. Oh, yeah. Oh. Right on, mate. Yeah, um, right on. on the bike. I've got another question for you. Oh, oh yes. Braden from Cerny in France want to know what yeah. happened to the 19 2000 Jeep? Ah, right. Well, that got sort of uh, sold on eBay, I think, to a g gentleman in Germany. Oh. And uh, I'm going to go and retrieve it because I love that vehicle. Who sold yeah. it? Uh, who sold it? Was it was it the record company? Well, I think so. Mm. Uh, I think they were a bit short. Okay. And they thought, well, let's offload it. Let's offload it. It's a it's a decent motor, and uh, you're right. Uh, yeah. I just got. Were a you making? No, I had a pain in my arm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's yeah. all right. Don't worry. Carry on. I think it was. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm going to go and get it. I love. I love. I love that. Uh, if I find who actually sold it, I'm probably going to hit them quite hard. I wouldn't do that if I were you, just, Why not? just because just it just wouldn't be nice. It's and you've got a new album to promote and you don't want to be put oh, that's inside true. Again. That's true. I don't want to get banged up again. 23-hour yeah. bang up. Oh, no, I don't want that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you no, but that, that, Jeep, there, you? That, that Jeep is, 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 is beautiful. Mm. Uh, absolutely beautiful. We will get it back. Yeah. Perfect. But I tell you, if I find who sold it, I, I will... Sorry. It's all right. It's okay. It's sorry, okay. Sorry, I got a bit. It, it happens. It happens to all of us at the best of times. Oh, I'm sorry. Sugar Woozy on Twitter. Real name. Real name on Twitter. Made up. That's a real name. Uh, does Murdoch Popular know Popular. how to twerk? Uh, Sugar Woozy do, wants to know for do, science do, reasons. Do Do I know how to twerk? Yeah. <laughs> 2D. Did you hear that? Do I know how to twerk? He does. He does know. No. Oh. What is it? I had one on my arm once, I think I squashed it. A twerk is but a kind of a dance. Oh, I oh, know. Dance. I'm down with the yeah. kids, yeah. don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was there at the vanguard of that, you know, okay. right at the forefront of twerking. And I let the other people sort of take over, you know. But it's an interesting phenomenon, mm. isn't it, 2D? What is it? I always thought it was Liverpudlian for um, going to work. <laughs> I'll go on Twitter. <laughs> I'd see what you did go there. On Twitter. I see what you did there. I like yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah. You see, yeah. That's fine. I just thought it was. Jordan Powers has been in touch as well. Yes, um, yes. He wants to know from both of you, what are yeah. each of your life mottos? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Well, um, I'd say live it. Yeah. That's a good Just, one. yeah, seriously. That's Don't think about one. it. Live it. Yeah. 2D? Yeah. Um, it'll be all right in the end. And if it's not all right, it's not the end. I really like that one. Yeah. Very inspirational. Wow, that was, that's, right, that's blown me away. Mm. Yeah, I, Let's move on with the questions. Mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, that is, that is the sound of mind being blown. Uh, Lana from Pittsburgh's got one for you, TV. Oh, yeah. yes, Lana from uh, Pittsburgh. I believe she's from, yeah, Pitt, Pittsburgh. Oh, she wants to know, 2D, city. where are your mom jeans from? I don't know what she my means. Mom, my mom jeans? Yeah. 
Um, my mom jeans are actually well, they're Simon early Simon Cow prototype, oh. like very high waisted, and um, these are popular with him in the old days when he could fit into them, and he used to um, uh, give out the buns <laughs> in, uh, where he worked, and then he started eating the buns, and then he couldn't get in the <laughs> trousers anymore, and so he gave them to me. Uh, so I lucked out really. They're, they're Simon's hand me downs, hand me trousers. Well, and he looks cool. He does. He does. Yeah, absolutely. He? I mean, the the pair he does of you look, look cool, really man. Good. You look really, really Who good. Who looks the coolest? Me. Not you, <laughs> Mister. <Chair. laughs> I, I do. I do like. I do like. I do like his bins, though. I think he's got. No, you look like a sort of super Marvel superhero. You've got a superhero vibe going on. Unfortunately, it's just poor eyesight. I'm afraid. Oh, oh. Well, you but see. no superpowers then. No, no. no. Oh, never mind. Just, just, just questions and yeah, questions. And speaking exactly. of super questions, questions. Uh, Nefeli in Greece wants to know what's been the happiest moment of your lives so far. Ooh. Deep, Ooh. nice and deep. And uh, I think it was when my trousers exploded okay. in real, right, on a holiday. Okay. It's not as bad as it sounds. Anyway, no, only joking. No, best moment of my life really was when I met Two D. Do you mean that? No. <laughs> oh. Two D. Any, anything from you? Um, well, I have very few memories of my life because of the various accidents that I've had. Oh, don't talk but about the accident. I, I don't tend to remember an awful lot of what happens over a sort of past a week. Mm. So, but last week was a really good week, I think. Good, good. Well, listen, yeah. I have one more question. Oh, God. And then we have to wrap up. Um, oh, this, right. this has actually been voted for by the, the users of YouTube as a yeah. question for us to ask you. Yeah. Right. Very simply, will there be more music? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Man. yeah That's sure. the that is the one thing that we can only be certain of is that all the time that yeah. there is a head on our um, <laughs> necks, then there'll always be music. Brilliant, right? Head Don't you think? Neck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it's an endless supply, really. I mean, there will be more to come. There will be more to come. We're not going to stop That's... until they tell us to. And even if uh, and do. even then, no, you're and quite even then right. We'll he got there first. You got there first. Like, <laughs> even then, I'm not going to stop. Oh, I wish I'd said that. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, you, you, I would expect nothing less from you guys. Oh, Mr. Jones. Oh. It, ah. It's all we really know how to do. So all the time we're alive, we have to make music because we, we can't, we're not actually qualified to do any, not anything really. else. No, I you see. do any other, any other job apart from working in a library. But I will definitely give Thatchin a go. Definitely. It's, oh, it's yeah. a really good well, Thatchin's idea. your thing, man. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So listen, Murdoch, you the best. 2D, thank you so much for your time. <gasps> really oh, appreciate you're welcome. it. No, uh, no, I wish you all the best. Thank you. And love. Good luck, Mr. Jam. Thank you. 2D, Murdoch. Don't spread yourself too thin. I won't. I won't. And, all right, man. Just try and bring it back a little. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Yeah. This has been In Conversation with Gorillas. I've been Mr. Jam. Thank you so much to the Telecom Beats crew and thank you to the YouTube studio here in London. Hi. Hi, what's, guys. Hello. What, hello. What's your, what's your name? Malgorzata, but it's Margaret. Malga. It's yeah. Margaret. You can Mal use it. Margaret. Malgorzata. Oh. Sounds like a cocktail. Anyone up for a mogajata? Oh, <laughs> Three mogajatas, please. Oh. <laughs> Is it nice that cocktail? Sorry, go on. Yeah. Go on. It's it's good cocktail. Hi guys. Yeah. Um, you've been gone for for seven years, and what you've been doing then? Oh, you don't want to know. Oh, I really want to know. No, you don't want to. Well, lots of different things, you know. Really, sort of living life and. Uh, you know, I ended up in, uh, in in jail and spent some time, you know, banged up. And it did me good, I think. It was a growth opportunity. Yeah. Oh, it was depressing in there, though, I tell you. Uh, I went on a silent retreat for six months. And um, yeah, and I'm not doing that again. It was, was too much. He was with the monks. I was. <laughs> okay, but, but, but during this seven years, music yes. business changed a lot. Oh, so. So oh, how mate. it feels to be back? Good, doesn't it, Murdoch? Yes. No, it is. It's different. It's a very different landscape, I think, now. You know, it's just sort of changed, you know. And if you look back, it's different from, you know, what it is now, you know. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 it's good how to be it? back. And, and, and it? we're ready. We feel ready, you know. Seven years has been a nice seven years, and now we're ready to do it all again. Are you excited for your new album coming out? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, well, it's we so, so good, man. 
Yeah, we hope we hope people like it. Oh, so yeah, it's got something for everybody in there, you know. It's just you know covers the whole spectrum and the people that we got involved in it, you know, just you know lights out, man. Yeah, tell me about your guests a little bit more. Yeah, well we had okay. Vince Staples. Yeah. We've got uh, Pop Khan. Staples, no relation. Mate, no relation to Mavis no. Staples. We have the wonderful Grace Jones. Ooh. Yeah, and we're, we're and we're working with De La Soul again. De La Soul. And um, yeah. yeah, it's been good. Rag and Bone Man. Yeah. Oh, uh, Pop Khan. Ben, 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 ben Clementine. Oh, Ben Clementine. Are you excited for your live shows? How, yeah. How are they gonna look like? Tell what me about, about it more. Well, you have not you have not seen anything like what we are going to do this time. This is going to be yeah, mind blowing. Just like yeah. oh, David, hello, mate. Welcome, <laughs> welcome. Thanks for coming. It's great to be here with you guys. Yeah, good to see it's you. It's nice to be here with you. <laughs> okay, yes, mate. We're not Thank you. Ready quite yet. So, uh, quite humans is your. Well, oh, sorry, sorry we're one. Not quite, ready. quite ready. Sorry, sorry. We've got some little technical problems that we're going to uh, address. So. Thank you for your patience. Okay, we're ready now. Thank you. We're ready now, Dave. Sorry, mate. Okay. We're ready. So, hey guys. Hi, hello. Hi, David. How are you? Hey. All right. Hey. <laughs> it's great to be here with you guys. Uh, yeah. Humans is your first album in six or seven years. Uh, how did you spend uh, these years? Oh, on a sort of lengthy sabbatical, uh, really. Better yeah. To describe it. I nice, a nice sabbatical. Uh, um, you, well, you, you took up with an order of monks. 2D joined a, an order of monks. I went on a silent retreat. In the Himalayas. Is, yeah, in the Himalayas. In the wrong book, Glacier. Yeah. In the wrong book, Monastery. Yeah. With, uh, with some lovely monks. I took a wrong turn and I ended up in the wrong book. And um, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't, I, I tried to do a six months silent retreat. But I kept on um, talking and I got thrown out by the chief monk. Mm. Mm. Sounds crazy. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it no, was, it more, it was more embarrassing than anything. <laughs> no, I've been in prison, David. That's where I've been. I've been in into prison. prison. Yeah, I didn't do it, Gav, well, honestly. I, did not, I, didn't, I didn't do it. <laughs> no, breach of contract or something. They banged me up for it. So, uh, you know, you've got to do your bird. Get your nut down, do your bird, get out. Lead a straight life. That's what I've done. When he when he says bird, that's a prison term. Oh, so sorry. Because you're, you're, you're from Hungary, you're, so you might you might read that into some kind of you know other illegal act. Mate, uh, mate, can I just say, Dave, your English is excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much. No, and so is, than and so is your hair, man. Your hair's excellent too. <laughs> Do you like his hair? I really like his hair. Yeah. Two D likes your hair. I think Thanks, it looks man. a bit like your hair, Murdoch, only better. Oh, it really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you naughty boy. Yes, sorry, David. <laughs> sorry, David. It's all gone a bit wonky. Uh, Not your hair. Oh, mate. Of you. Oh, we got to, we've got to go, I think. We have to go. Ask one more question. Oh, one more. Go on, Okay, quickly. thank you, guys. Uh, Morrissey did not want to appear on your album. Uh, why? And how do you feel about that? Well, the reason why Morrissey didn't want to appear. Did you say Morrissey? Yeah, Morrissey. Yeah, yeah. But no, he keeps going. It's about this seven pence I owe him. Yeah. He keeps going on about it. He says, no, I'm not going to be on your album until you pay me back that 7p. Yeah, and it's also he doesn't mercy. like taxis, so yeah. we, he doesn't like getting in taxis because taxi drivers talk to him. He doesn't like talking oh, to Oh, no, he doesn't drivers. like that. No, he doesn't like that. So, well, you know, we manage. We manage without. So yeah. It's lovely to speak to you, David. Thank you, guys. You're Bye. a good man. Bye. Bye. See you later. See you, man. Bye. <laughs> um, well, actually, uh, I don't know if you remember me. I actually did your first ever... Enemy cover about 15, almost maybe even almost 20 years ago. Well, thank you for Rick that. Rick Astley. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Rick it. Was, it was Rick Astley. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh thank no. You for that. Now, I remember back in back in those days, you were quite touchy about doing filmed interviews. Why was that? Because well, he's I got just... a face for radio. Yeah, well, you speak for yourself. You speak for yourself. No, I'm all right with it now. It's okay, you know. It just goes with the territory, doesn't it? You know. Maybe I was a bit more spiky then, you know. Perhaps. Oh, you've really chilled out, actually. <laughs> oh yeah, look at me. I'm really, look at me, look, I'm chilled. Yeah. Look at me, I'm chilled out. No, look, look, I am. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> so what changed? Well, we did, we evolve, you know, we evolve as people, don't we? People it's, grow people and people grow. change, I think, you know. That's the, I think we've all had a little bit of a spiritual growth and um, age will do that to you, I think. Yeah, whatever he said, <laughs> something about growing spirits. 
Are we going to see you uh, on all sorts <laughs> of uh, different websites and stuff like that, doing interviews now? Um, yeah. Some websites, not the bad, not the naughty ones, but uh, yeah, we'll do we'll do all sorts of different interviews, maybe from now on. But it all depends on Murdoch's concentration span, you see, because what are you saying? He doesn't have much concentration. No, I can concentrate with the best of them. What? What? Okay. What, and what, uh, what's your name again? My me. <laughs> No, no, him. <laughs> Who is that guy? Rick Astley. Yeah, well, it was oh, back Rick in the day. Oh. Um, so, yeah, uh, 2D. So, um, obviously, you, you have this sort of blank-eyed stare about you. What is it? Are you just sort of blocking out the pain? Oh, that's a good um, well, I... well, that's quite a deep question, actually, and uh, one that I, um, I don't like. Uh, no, I, I do have some pain inside of me. <laughs> Um, but uh, it's, it's great. The reason I've great. got black eyes is because I I had an accident and I accidentally got formaldehyde in my eyes and my eyes went black. See, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it is an interesting look. I must. They might come back one day, but no one's no one's making any promises. Okay. Yeah. And finally, um, Mur uh, Murdoch, tell us about your uh, your scariest prison stories. Oh right, okay, yeah. Well, I was uh, I shared a cell with this big, huge man called Harry the Hammer, and uh, he gave me a great piece of advice: you know, get your nut down, do your bird, son. Yeah, he said to me, get off my bunk, and get off my bunk. And he also told me the best way to plan a good armed robbery. A robbery, not, not yeah, a robbery, not a robbery, not a robbery. A robbery. Point it out. It's not a rob no, robbery. No, no, no. I'm not talking about robberies. I'm talking about robberies. And shrubberies. No, jails. Well, it's made me the man I am. <laughs> That's terrifying. Uh, cheers, guys. You're a good man. Hey, nice, yeah. to, nice to nice see you see again, you Rick. Thank you. you. Take care. Thanks, mate. You got your chips? Yeah, somewhere. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good. Hello. How are you? We're all right. How are you? Well. Yes. How are you? And what, what's your name? Christina. Christina. Hi, Christina. Hello, Christina. Christina. Welcome. Thanks. Welcome to our world. <laughs> anyway, oh, sorry, you got some questions for sure. us. Sure. Okay, yes. so for the new yes. album, um, which yes. song did you personally enjoy creating the most and why? Y yes. Well, we... Y yes. Yeah. What's that? Uh, yes. Yes, you get stuck on that word. Y yes. Um, oh, we really we really enjoyed... Um, we yes. really enjoyed working with all our artists. I mean, it was hard to pick a song that was a personal sort of favourite to us. But um, oh. we enjoyed Saturn's bars with Popcorn. It was pretty oh, cool. That's a good track. That's a mean track. Hallelujah, money. Yeah. You know, ben, with Ben, you know, Benjamin Clementine. Yeah. What a voice, you know. Where he's does that great. come from? And he's only very lovely from words that boots. come out of his lovely mind brain. You know, out of his, really, his, head, his mind head. Out right. of his, and his head and his right and his mind, right the mind of his, out of his eye brain comes right out the middle of his. Mind, yeah, which is really which is no, weird. it's great. I mean, it's such a joy to do it, it really t sort of just generally turns me on the whole lot, really. Yeah, <laughs> yes, amazing, yes, great. Well, yes. you are yes. you are such a creative force, then. Um, I know, I know, you're pretty, pretty cool. Oh, um, thank you, <laughs> um, thank you. Apart oh. from um, conquering the music um, business, um, have you thought of entering any other creative um, industries and creative paths? Only accountancy, really. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I'm unqualified. qualified. He, well, you're a chartered accountant. Yeah, but I'm actually unqualified to do anything other than music because that part of my brain is the only bit that works now. So I can only really do music. But I did yeah, work at a fun fair on the Dodgems one. Yeah, but to be fair, that's negligible as well. So you've got to feel for him, you know, yeah. really. No, listen, we'll be all right if it, you know, won't we? We could, we could open that, that little sweet shop we were talking about opening. One yeah, day. yeah. Little, little bonbons. The ones that sell milk bottles. Little, little milk, milk bottles. bottles. Yeah, do you remember the little milk bottles and the cola cubes? Yeah. Cola cubes. Ooh, do you have them? Love in, them. In, in, where are you from? I'm from Bulgaria originally. There you oh, go. Oh, Bulgaria. That's what I'm talking yeah. about now. Yeah, we know, we know Bulgaria. Of course we do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stayed there for no, three sorry, nights on a layover. Uh, oh, when sorry. you open your sweet shop, just come, come by. <laughs> I tell you what, your English is amazing. Oh, yeah. Thanks. No, it really is. And so, so is your hair. Oh. Oh, oh it's too deep. We really like your hair. Aww. We're big into hair, you see. <laughs> oh. You're big into hair. Yeah. 
Look, yeah. look, look at her hair. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Just that, flows. Nice hair. Just like flows down. Yeah. Like, look, look like a that brown that. sea. <laughs> yes. It's nice. Right. Sorry, have you got another cup? Sorry, yes. we're a bit silly. Yes. Um, silly. All right. So what is the last thing you learned? Huh? The last thing we learned. <laughs> last thing I learned. Um, Not to trust 2D. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you can trust me. I don't. Well, up to a point. You steal things. I don't steal things. You, I don't. You don't steal things. He's, I don't steal things. <laughs> I you don't steal things. He's just accusing me of stealing things. He's you, not big things. He steals things. If you leave things lying about, he's like a magpie. I do he actually. Just gets like, no, anything that glitters, steal. he just picks it up and flies off with it. Yes, I'm a klep- kleptopathaniac, <laughs> which means as someone who steals things. I still, I stole his rubber the other day. Yeah. Um. So how are you two? All right. We're all good right. Jack. Good, Jack. Gotta... Have you been on? Have you been doing Peaky Blinders? Uh, you know what? I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. I've been watching Peaky Blinders. I've been enjoying it a lot. Did it and inspire you? Got a haircut. Yeah. yeah. Do you like it's it? Cool. You look like you own Peaky Blinders. Yeah. Because I used to have a haircut that went straight back, nice little quiff. Yeah. But now I've gone full Peaky Blinders. Oh, well done. Ooh. Nice one. Thank you. Um, so I wanted to ask you guys. Yeah. Um, obviously, you've got loads of features. You are weird, aren't you? Look at He's weird, he is weird, but then again, he hasn't had his medication today. Oh, shut up. You need, you need to up, hand it over to him. Like, I'm feeling Sorry, Jack. No, Jack. Right. no, don't, 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 don't feel, don't no, feel uncomfortable. Jack. It's all right. You no, can, all you'll be fine. You will. Just, uh, just don't look him in the eye. All right, I'll, that's I'll look at you most too, weird. All right. um, yep. So, can I ask you about the features? And was there a feature on your album that you two, or all of you, possibly conflicted over? Was there someone that maybe you didn't agree with having on the album that someone else liked? Um, well, not really. I don't really get much of a say, if I'm honest. I can suggest things, but the final decision is always Murdoch, because if you disagree with him, well, it's just not worth it. Yeah, but it's my band, isn't it? I mean, basically, he knows that. They all know that. (laughs) You're a tough man to please, Murdoch. Well, mate, you know, hey, you know, well, maybe. He's generally just a very tough man. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so we'll much, Judy. All right. All right. Well, if you're a tough man, Murdoch, in a fight, do you reckon you could take on Russell? Of course I could. Russell. I could have him any day of the no, week. You oh, Russell. Look at him. Oh, don't Look be at the silly. Size of him. No, you yeah. Couldn't. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't you bother couldn't. me. Absolutely no. not. No, My money is on Russell all day. Mate, Jack, listen, can we let's talk. Yeah, but what you're over what you're overlooking no. what you're overlooking is that Murdoch is very spiteful. Right, yes, okay. I we, am. So you're He's saying right. so TD, you're saying that he plays dirty. Um, he doesn't play at all. Right, okay. Uh, it's actually I'd very hard that. to play with him at I'll all. Go. He's very he's a very spiteful man. Yeah. No, I would. I'd go. <sighs> yeah, like that. and he's imp- he improvises. He improvises like that... born identity, like spoons. Oh, and nice. Things. Very nice. It's no, a spiteful I, I, thing. I do. I love a good row. You know, I like to have it off, you know, a bit of a row. Yeah, absolutely. Have you got a signature yeah. move, Murdoch? I have. I get inside and hit him with a combination of left, right, left, right, left, right, uppercut. Then I do. Then I do a sort of a, a left hook, and he's gone. And he right. bites. He bites as well. But when I he bite. says get inside, he means actually get inside of their body. Yeah. And then fight his way from out from the inside. Yeah, so it's just, quite. A well, you've given the man. game away now, Murdoch. He's, he's going to know exactly what's coming. Oh no no no! I shall take up a, a position from a very high vantage point and Good idea. just pick him off. All right. Thanks for your time. No, James. I won't do that. I love Russell. Yeah, don't, don't, don't hurt him. Don't, don't assimilate him. that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thanks for your time, gents. Lovely speaking Thank to you. Thank you, Jack. Uh, good, good luck on that. You blind us. Take care. <laughs> good tag. Uh-huh. I have to say good tag to my listeners first. Is that okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say hi We're to gonna them. listen to some German first. Is... Yeah, that's cool. Okay. We like that. Good afternoon aus den YouTube Studios in London. Radio 1 hat ein Date mit den ähm, mit der erfolgreichsten Comic Band der Welt, mit den Gorillas, äh, die nach pff, sieben Jahren wieder Platten aktuell sind. Und hier sitzen jetzt nicht die Humans, so heißt das Album, äh, hinter diesem Projekt, sondern die animierten Figuren. Also wir können jetzt ein Echtzeitgespräch führen mit Sänger 2D und mit Bassist Murdoch. Um, how are you? Uh, We're good. Good Oh, that Narben. was good. Some more German uh, uh, in your uh, repertoire. I can speak uh, Netherlands a little bit. Ah, uh, not so much. That's all. But that's Dutch. That's, so that's no about, good, it's really. pretty close, actually. Yeah, it's close. close. So it's close. we have a two minutes uh, deep conversation now because it's yes. for a German radio station. Hello. Um, tell us why you jumped into the real world with this interview. Where they made us. 
They may oh, just do it. They did. It's, yeah, it's not... we, we got we got cut out and then stuck in the real world. It, and that's what's happened to us it's, while we're here. It's not your own choice. Well, not we were, you know, we. You know, it's we the record go label. Back. You know, uh, it's a bit, I see. It's strange. It's what's it's required these days. Okay. Yeah. But now you're here. Yeah. yeah. And um, the album. Is called humans. Maybe yeah. you can maybe you can tell us what's the message, what's the message to the human race. It's basically isn't the world going to hell in a handcart? Yeah, really in simple terms. No, I mean, what, what would you say the message was there, 2D? You know, well, it's a little bit like you know we're all sort of on Donald Trump's flotilla to North Korea. That's how it feels. Oh, man. And, uh, and and you know, even a post-apocalyptic party is basically what the message of the That's album is. That's easy for you to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, understand. And what's the sound? It's apocalyptic. Yeah, yeah. What's the sound? Jeez. What's the sound like on on the new album? I guess people in Germany want to know. Um, it's all happening on there, mate. You know, it's just whoa. You know, yeah. Your lots of new holes. sounds, a lot of electronic sounds, and we've worked As with some say, incredible yeah. artists you this have. time. We've collaborated yeah. with some yeah, some of have. our favourite people. You know, is yeah. there any favourite? On is there any favourite? I mean, Benny, two D, two D. Do you like singing together with Noel, for instance? Yeah, I enjoyed singing with Noel. I mean, he's great, and and you know, and and it's been fun working with him. He came in and sang. And sang our song with us, and we enjoyed it, you know. And also, it was yeah. wonderful working with. Um, uh, we worked with an actor called Ben Mendelssohn, who um, yeah, he narrates the album for us. And that guy is 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 more rock and roll than anyone we've probably ever met before, actually. Okay, okay. So, so uh, finally, uh, this two minutes deep conversation is almost over. Do you have a special special message for? your fans in Germany, especially for the Radio 1 listeners in Berlin and Brandenburg. Yeah, just really a huge Dankeschön. Yeah, yeah a massive really. Dankeschön. Massive Danke. Yeah, yeah, massive Dankeschön. <laughs> massive Dankeschön. <laughs> and, uh, and you were brilliant in Knight Rider, by the way. No, oh, shush. No, I want to thank the people in Germany who have impeccable taste, quite yeah. honestly. Mm -hmm. Gorillas, they know where it's at. They do. You've got to trust them. We yeah, and maybe you can work on our next album. Okay. Yeah. We, we, love, we love the people of Germany. We thank them. Ein a massive Dankeschön auch von uns hier. Also das war der Bitte eins, schön. Eins, eins der schnellsten Interviews für Radio 1, das ich jedenfalls Ow. geführt habe mit Murdoch und 2D von den Gorillas. Schöne Grüße aus London. Ciao. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Hi. All right. Okay. Yeah, we're good, you thank you. We're good. This is my good friend 2D. Hello. Hello. You're the problem. So Hi. You're from... Uh, Poland. Yeah, but where are you from in Poland? Uh, near to Katowice, south of Poland. Oh, nice. Hi. Oh, well, thank you for coming and oh, yeah. speaking to us. It's lovely to see you. We like Poland. Yeah, we are big fans. Can you um, tell me about uh, your uh, new album, maybe? What is your favorite track on this album? Yeah. What's your favourite track? Well, I really like uh, Saturn's Bars and um, yes. I, I also like um, a tracks we, we did with uh, De La Soul and, um, cool. and also Charge is pretty good fun with Grace Jones. That was fun to make. And big, of course, uh, Big Ben, Big Ben... Um, Clementine. Big Ben, Big Benny Clementine. You know? Yeah. We did uh, Alleluia Money with him, and that guy really rips it up. Yeah. So there's a lot a to one. like on the album, you know, superb. Yeah. You know? We've got some amazing artists yeah. this time, you know. We've got Who to we collaborate got? with some people that we really respect, you know. Who have we got? Well, me, starting with me, of course. Well, no, I mean other people than you. You do respect uh, me, can, too. Can you I do respect you, I know. Your, uh, expectations, and what do you think about your uh, fans' expectations? Because you are coming back after many years, so what's now? Oh, I, expect, uh, I say expect the unexpected. Yes. That's what I say, expect the unexpected. Yes. Tales of the unexpected. He's right. Oh, don't go into that. No, they don't They were do awful. That. Do you remember them? I do, yeah. If you don't know about Tales of the Unexpected, you can always look at them. Yeah, on go, go on YouTube yeah. and, and type in Tales of the Unexpected yeah. and yeah. you'll see what we're talking about. Well, this, I think it's going to be massive, you know, because there's so much in there. There's different sort of styles as always. And, uh, you know, we cover a, it's a smorgasbord, isn't it? Yeah, it's a plethora. Oh. 
a plethora. A, a plethora, plethora or um, <laughs> any kind of mixed food um, plateau, <laughs> oh, really. Fun, yeah, plateau that you no, can... It's got R and B, hip hop, you know, rock and roll. It's got the, it's got the lot. Ham. It's cal- calypso. C- yes. Calip- What's that thing Lonnie Donegan used to do? Um, What's that called? S- and, uh, sit on skiffle. a stool. Skiffle. Oh right. There yeah. isn't. There isn't any I skiffle. Have, uh, uh, s- uh, one isn't. more question. Uh, okay. And. Uh, what are your plans for future? And uh, uh, are you thinking about your next album, maybe? Oh, yeah, that's a question. Well, are we thinking about it? The thing it's is, there, it's, it's it? been seven years since our last album. So well, what we like to do is think about this album right now and then and then we like to finish that, what we're doing. Because if you say to Murdoch, like you see, he's got a very low concentration span. So if you say to him, the next album, he'll just disappear. Yeah. I will, uh, and, I will. Then, and then we won't see him for another seven no, years. No. Very excited. We're very excited. We love Poland, yes. and we can't yes. wait to go there. We're mm. going to see you guys very soon. Okay, yeah. So, okay, thank you, guys. Fifteen years ago, Damon Alban and Jamie Hewlett rewrote music history when they introduced Gorillaz to the world. Fast forward to 2017, and technology is finally catching up with their vision. Over the last few months, we have been working with Gorillaz to unlock a new dimension in music, something Murdoch and 2D are joining me here today to talk about. Murdoch hey. Nichols and 2D. Yeah. Hi. 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 Hi, Hans. How are you doing? All right. You're looking well. How are you doing both? Nice to see you in the real world. Oh, How does yeah. that feel? Feels weird. Strange. strange. It's quite strange, but the air is a bit dirtier. Yeah, the air's yeah, dirty. Yeah, it's not yeah. as clean and pure and clinical. Now tell us. And the whole concept of humans, the album, and the many innovative ways you bring it to the world. What made you choose Deutsche Telekom as your technology partner? Well, well they're nice people, we like them. Yeah. And they gave us the best reception. Oh, yes, <laughs> oh, yes. Well, at least three bars, I think. Yeah, good yeah. reception. Oh, Murdoch, you are the mastermind and genius behind the gorillas. <laughs> Tell us the story. How did you convince 2D to be part of the band? I ran him over in a car. Oh. Yeah, that is true. It might not sound like a nice thing to do, but it works. That's interesting. Maybe I should try this in my work environment. No, Hans, no! When we started working together, you said, I want our art to be everywhere and I want people to experience gorillas everywhere, anywhere. Yeah, that's what we think, you know, there should be more art and more gorillas. Yeah, everywhere you look. So, how do you experience the Lance app? Uh, basically, you download the Gorillas app on your um, phone tablet, and then what you do is you hold it over something magenta, or as I like to call it, pink, and yeah. then you can see the world of the Gorillas. Yeah, and it is truly amazing. Yeah. Something to behold. Okay. Oh, yeah. What else can we expect from the Lens app? Oh, all sorts of things really. Like you can actually um, go to special places and you can hear you can. our album in yeah. its entirety, yeah. Um, yeah. which is quite cool. Yeah, you can, the whole thing. How do you expect the fans to work with the app? Very well, I would have thought. They're well, quite bright, aren't they? Yeah, our fans, they're know, probably they're cleverer than us, of, you know, most of our fans. Technically literate, I think they'll be able to yeah. navigate around it. Oh, hands, hands, yeah. Right, what? Sorry. Okay. Well, talking about the new live gigs, what can we expect more from your cooperation with our Electronic Beats platform? Oh, well, yeah. we're going to perform a gig yeah. in Europe. It's the first time in Europe that Yeah, we've, we've done it in London, you know, the yeah, Printworks. Print yeah. But the first time in Europe that we've played the whole album in its entirety is a special see. European album yeah. gig. Yeah, like the whole thing, from beginning to end, yeah. hands. Ooh. It's right, that's what I mean. Ooh. Anything yeah. else you'd like to share with your audience? Oh, um, wow, well, love. I once ate a whole wheel of camembert with oh, a spoon. Did. Yeah, I was there. I, Bloody brilliant. I filmed yeah, it. It was nice. Yeah, I videoed it. It's great. We put it up on YouTube. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice to talk Thank to you. Thank you, Hans. Nice to talk to you. I like, I like your jumper. I want one. I like your shoes. I know, your shoes are nice. <laughs> He's a nice man, isn't he? Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. A relaxed vibe going on. Not a suit, which is cool. I like that. You don't wear a suit. Do you not wear a suit or are you just trying to be cool for this? It works. Plastic Beach. Plastic Beach. Amsterdam. Berlin, actually. Ooh. Ah.
Bang! Drive. Trip up. Rip up. Tropical island, please. Tropical. Take that house. Jay Z. Jay Z. Two pack. Oh, two pack. Bingo! Paul McCartney. Bingo! Oh, Curry. Yeah. Oh, Curry Sorry, all day long. Yeah, me too. Ooh. Ooh. Beer. Absent. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, French kiss. Nice. Yeah. Punk. Petal. Oui, of course. London. Rice. Noodle. Rice noodles. Ooh. That's clever. I see what you did there. Yeah. Oh. oh. Sunshine, oh. I think. Of course, sunshine. Yeah. That is a good question. To be. What is 2D to be? What do you think? Be what you want to be. Here okay, we go. Right. Hello, everybody. Do you, do you know, do you know, you know, there's some interesting facts about Margate. Here's three of them. Mm. Do they? Yeah. Yeah. First fact about Margate. Right. Oh, isn't that it? Yeah. I've got a good fact. It's um, eating Ken. Yes. Not very good, is it? Margate is called Margate. Yes. Named by the Romans. Yeah. Because when they came to Margate, he said, you know this? Oh, I do know about this. The Roman Emperor Cabalius. Cabalius XV. Cabalius XV. He Cabalius said, Cabalius XV. that's Margate, not your gate. And so they named it. Margate. Margatius. Yeah. Well, me personally, I'm looking forward to the fairground because I like yeah. fairgrounds. I used to um, uh, work on Dodgems in Eastbourne. So they've got good dodgems in Margate. You never told me that. No, it's something... You never told me everything, no, have you? No, I was just trying to find myself a little bit, so I ended up in Eastbourne driving the dodgems. Oh, yeah, you know this finding yourself thing? Hmm. How's that coming along? Um, quite, quite... Well, Slowly? Hello, Hello Posca! Hello, Posca! Uh, my my favourite one is the Irish one. My life, <laughs> inspired by Rosemary. So lucky in my life. Ah. For those who don't know who Rosemary, is, she's a Northern Irish singer ah, from yes. the eighties. Yes, you've got some of her platters. Oh, she makes a nice platter. <laughs> Does she? Oh, yeah. What a selection of cold meat. Oh, say. Oh, oh, luncheon meat. Oh, oh, spam, spam. luncheon meat. Spam and... Uh, we have that on a platter. Yeah. Uh, Paul Levon. Paul I don't know, I could never get on with them, really. I don't know. I like luncheon meat, pork luncheon meat. Pork luncheon meat and... Um, Saveloids. What are you doing, um, What are they? What happened? Giving it crisps and it, it didn't react to that, you know. Well, no, it wasn't my cat, oh, so right. I didn't know what he likes to eat at all. I mean, I, I, I didn't mean kind. for it to leave him and start to come to me. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, but if it was his up. cat, then then why didn't he feed it crisps? Because it would have uh, been around his what, house. What 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 colour was it? Um, mauve. Mauve. Oh, he's one of those breeds. Cat. It was a breed. Yeah, you've got to be careful what you're feeding, you know, because they've got allergies, allergies, some of those cats. Yeah. Yeah, you can bring up green bile, the lining of its stomach. Oh, I've seen it's did luminous. That. It definitely did that. Oh, oh, horrible. Yeah. Is he all right now? Did you feed him a little pipette of milk? No, a pipette. I gave him a, um, <laughs> I gave him a Kinder Egg. <laughs> <laughs> really? I find that quite funny. Yeah. Really? Good yeah. lad. What Kinder Egg? <laughs> <laughs> really? I find that quite funny. Really? Good yeah. lad. Well, good you, lad. Kinder eggs, I like those. Did you force it down him? No, he just nibbled it. Oh, good. And then he licked his bum hole. <laughs> oh, that's what they do. Cats are like that. Yeah. And their tongues are abrasive. You can't blame him. They are like sandpaper. Aren't you they? would if you could. Whose car is that? I think it's Dick Van Dyke's. Oh, nice. 
crisps and they, they did it react to that, you know? Well, no, it wasn't my cat, oh, so right. I didn't know what he likes to eat at all. I didn't mean for it to leave him and start to come to me. Yeah, I understand. You know, but if it was his job. cat, then then why didn't he feed it crisps? Because it would have been what? around his what? house. What? 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 what colour was it? Um, Mo. Uh, uh, it was a breed. Nah, you've got to be careful when you feed it, you know, because they've got allergies, allergies, some of those cats. Yeah. Yeah, you can bring up green bile, the lining of its stomach. Oh, it's it did luminous. That. It definitely did that. Ah. Oh, horrible. Yeah. Is he all right now? Did you feed him a little pipette of milk? No, a pipette. I gave him a, um, I gave him a Kinder Egg. At the back of the coach with Bernie Tarpaulin, and he wasn't feeling too well. And he said, I need a bag. I, I, I want to be sick. He'd eaten a lot of twiglets and drunk, I think, at least three litres of Tizer. I could see Bernie. I could see his whole esophagus was contracting. Here you go. Okay. Yeah. Fanny Tarpaulin. Yeah, sorry, I was just messing around there. Murdoch, I've yeah. got a question for you. Oh, go on, mate, far away. What is the most rock and roll thing you have ever done? Uh, taking a book back to the library at least three weeks late. Ooh. Mm. Nasty fine? Yes, but guess what? What? I didn't pay it. <sighs> so you're effectively still at large? I am at large. Get on that. Rock and roll. Oh, yeah, baby. Hi, I'm Rusty Schweikart from Apollo 9. No, you're not. He's been facetious and obnoxious. He is Murdoch and I am 2D. Whoa, easy. Well, Humans, the new album is available on Amazon Music Unlimited now. Well, if he oh. says so, it must be. It is. All right. Hello, everybody. <laughs> it's Murdoch Nichols from Gorillaz. Mm, mm, mm. Check out our Gorillaz page on Apple Music, because guess what? It includes the new album, Humans! Yeah, yeah. Hello, uh, I'm Murdoch, and this is my colleague, 2D. Hello. Hello. We want to say a big thank you to Clara Ampho at Radio 1 for making The Apprentice Tune of the Week. Thank you. Get on that. Listen to the new album, Humans, on Spotify. Oh, 2D, by the way. Um, I'm Ed Mitchell from Apollo 14. He was the, um, <coughs> the lunar module pilot, by the way. That's me. <laughs> no, you're not. Man. No, I am. I am. I am. You're not. No, no. no Bother, sorry, sorry. you're scaring the kids. Am mm. I? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, what a lovely piece of gold that is. That must be worth a few, Bob. Yeah, I tell you what, we were given that for having one million subscribers. Yeah, because we're really clever. Yeah. And now, you won't believe this, we're almost at two million. We'd like to dedicate this award to all our YouTube fans around the world. But this we're not going to. Only joking. Bonsoir, France. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, tu dis? Uh, uh, comment allez-vous? Uh, uh, ça va? Uh, fermez la fenêtre. I was at a party last night with a load of football geezers. Picked up the wrong keys by mistake. Turns out those keys only opened the door to Chelsea Football Club. Come on, get in! Right, I need a shower. <laughs> Look at this, I can't believe it. All right. Yeah!
I like you, you're a legend. Do you like to be called David, David or Dave? Davi. Davi? Oh, OK. Whereabouts are you from? I'm from Sao Paulo. I like samba. Do you know samba? I it's do. I music. love samba. Yeah? Yeah. Can you dance samba? I can do a little bit. Yeah. You show me first. Show me <laughs> how you do it. I do a bit. Go on. Samba. Is that it? I like you. I think, in many ways, we are like quite me? similar. Because you look a bit like a cartoon too, don't you? <laughs> You've got cartoon hair. And I quite like that about you. I think you... Just the cartoon hair? Well, and also, I like your whole, whole look as well. It's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> and it's when, a bit of cartoon, no? When did you embrace that hair? Or age did you just embrace it and grow it? When curly? I came to Europe. Yeah? It was before it was so warm and hot in Brazil with the summer every day, and then when I came to Europe, it was so cold. That's why I was trying to, to grow a bit. To keep warm. And now it's, it's keeping me warm. Yeah, I can see it looks very insulative. Do you like it? I love it. I think it's your hair? Well, my hair is sort of blue, and which is great, because I don't have to change colour today, because I'm at Chelsea, which is brilliant. Hello people, Murdoch Nichols here, international love machine and genius behind gorillas. <laughs> I'm sure you've all heard of the legendary Kong Studios, if you know the story, of course. Uh, it was the birthplace of our first two epoch-shifting albums. Oh yes. Now, unfortunately, it burnt to the ground. No, but no, 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 it wasn't an insurance job. No. So anyway, um, I thought it was high time it rose again from the ashes. Um, thing is, these days, I'm not just a feminist, I'm an environmentalist too. Oh, yeah. That's why Gorillas linked up with Eon, you see, the leading eggheads in solar storage, uh, to create a spanking new studio that not only lets us create more mind-blowing music, it also saves the planet. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and apparently they do batteries as well. Yeah, meaning we can uh, keep banging out killer tunes even after dark. Yeah. Anyway, uh, to show just what the big yellow thing in the sky can do, we made this supercharged film. You're going to love it, right? So click this button and get it into your eyeballs. Yeah, we got the power. Here's the weather forecast yeah. for the whole of, of France. Yeah, As so you can see, we it's... have a northeasterly breeze coming in from the, the northeast, northeast ah, and ah, all ah, the ah. way down to the Dodoin. The Dodoin! The Dodoin! 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 Mercredi! Mercredi! Come see, come see! Come see, come see! On the Côte d'Azur, Saint Tropez, Nice, Biarritz. And the right wing of France, the eastern side, I mean, that's all going to, well, it's going to hell in a handcart. Yeah. Hell in a handcart. Keep it left. <laughs>